What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm just having my bowl of platinum oats. We got our platinum oats here. I was about to start editing this video. And I did a little test, so y'all should be able to hear me just fine. But I'm not going to be able to hear anything that's going on in the background. I just hope this ain't too loud for you. Y'all ready? We're editing videos. I was testing here. Um, yeah, we'll install that. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd show this. I figured this probably be kind of confusing. But I think we got something here. All right, new. Uh, edit. Um, probably the 36 minute one. Yes. Guys, there's this game. It's called World of Warcraft. Dragonflight. Right now we're building some peaks. So, I've already shot a few episodes. It's just me getting back into it. But we're just gonna polish it together here a little bit better. Normalize, don't mind if I do. We'll zoom in in about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. How about when the map drops? There, the map drops right there. Or, or right here. Yeah, right there. And then, I usually like the hit film effect, the TV damage one. This is an FX, if you just select FX. There's like different folders. Um, you can get it from here, but you could also get it from up here. I specifically like the TV damage one. I grew up with CRT monitor TVs. And you watch movies and stuff like Aladdin here, and they'd be all like, kind of like fuzzy. If the tracking wasn't right on the VHS, if you had a sister that watched these movies over and over and over every day, to where you yourself know what it is to be one step ahead of the bad man. Because your sister was into the two steps into the. Da -da, da -da -ba -da 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 -da. So yeah. I grew up around that stuff. And then, and then this, I go back again, TV damage. And then CRT. Now, for like real-ish, we want to save it. Because you don't want to lose progress. We'll name it Aladdin. Dragonflight. Aladdin DF. Yeah. And then I'll go to render this. And then I like to choose the Sony AVC MVC. I actually have one set up and it shows like the template here. You can customize it. I created my own. I just typed in a name here and saved it. And I was following a video when I did this. And, you know, even come to think of it, I like my sample rate at 44.1. So we'll save it. We'll save it there. So our sample rates, the right sample rate. We got profile. I don't know what you have to change to make it look like this, but you just make it look like that. And then I don't know if anything else matters. Maybe this, maybe video rendering quality best. But yeah, that's saved. I just renamed it. I'm going to star it because this is the one I want. This is the star platinum setup. And then we render. We'll see how long that takes to render. And then I'm also going to edit and render this video probably. So it's kind of inception. We're, we're like doing a render within a render within a matrix. All right. And then now that one's going. If you got a good enough processor, if, uh, if you trust your computer, if you trust your Sony Vegas, 
You can open a whole other instance while that's running. You have separate instances like wormholes, guys, like dimensional teleporting between untold realms. I really like this video though. So, this one here. I like to maximize it because the, the layout gets messed up if I don't. And then we'll open this. I I know which one I left off at. You can kind of set up OBS to kind of like tell you which one is which. But I just know this is the order that I went in. I go by like sorting by the date. So yesterday I filmed these. This is the second episode. It's a 21 minute episode. And then I double click immediately just to select all this area. What you don't want to do is render and not have all this blue area selected. It'll often like only render where that will often, it will only render where, where the blue area is. So I made that mistake a few times where I didn't select everything and didn't understand why. All right, okay, we're getting it right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna speed run these. We're gonna speed run. Dun, dun. Da -da 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 -da. Here, let's speed run. This one's gonna be a little speed runny. You all ready? Let's see how fast we can go here. Dun -dun. Da -da 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 -da. Where's the transition begin? About right there. I want to start giving myself more of a transition at the end so that my end screen elements will appear back here. And a static CRT. And then that's the one right there. We're going to save this one. This is a Aladdin DF2, we'll call. Aladdin DF2. That's the way. And then we're going to file render as. And then we make sure we select the same one. See, it's not selected right now. So we got to go Sony AVC. Scroll all the way down. A loose stalwart. This is the changed one because I changed the audio bit rate right there. It was 44.8. It's 44.100. I heard an audio guy say that it's more like natural to have it at this hertz. Or or it's like, this is like considered an analog frequency, I guess. And then the 48 one's like a digital. I, I don't know. I just remember thinking it was like, it's better to have it 44.1 because, because we have standards for these things. I don't, I don't know. I do it that way. I did that, like, I don't know how well these industry secrets, quote unquote, or like these little, like, you know, tips and tricks people give you are actually, like, helpful or sabotage. <laughs> because I heard something like, if you tune your guitar uh, sharp, like somebody was suggesting, there's a debate to begin with whether or not 432 megahertz is, like, the proper frequency for your guitar strings to resonate at or whether or not you should have the default standard tuning, which I think is like, what is standard tuning? I don't even know off the top of my head. Um, I think it's like 440? Yeah, standard tuning! Standard tuning hertz. Yeah, 440. Okay, so what somebody had suggested is like, all the really good singers, or all the like, um, or not all the good ones, but it was it was said that that even uh, Whitney Houston would always go a little sharp. So people would have their instruments and they would sing at 444 hertz, which is actually supposed to be healing. And I don't know this, like I don't know if this is true or not, but I have my guitar tuned at 444 hertz, thinking, oh, I'm gonna play my guitar and heal the world. Make it a better place. So these uh, 444 healing frequency sounds, I was kind of like playing with my guitar. But then also, if you just look at 444, you can see the angel number meaning of that. And it means, in numerology, assurance that one is on the right path in life. And I felt like I started catching wind when I tuned my guitar to 444. But I don't know if that's just like... Coinkydinks? Or if that actually is like industry pro tip secrets. And I don't know if I'm like divulging or, or not gatekeeping or something here where I should be or maybe I should. I got it. 
I don't even know what to do with my hands half the time. If I'm not on mouse and keyboard, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> Alright, so we got two of them rendering right now. And then uh, we're going to go for a third one. We can really skill shot this if we want to. Dun, 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 dun. I'm watching TikToks. This one's about Paramore, I think. Okay, so the third one's gonna go there, but first let's Maximo. I don't know what that's about, but it's Paramore, right? So I like it. Open. We're on number three, right? So this was number one. No. Wait, this was number one. This was number two because I remember it being 21 minutes. And number three is 26 minutes. So next we'll do number four, number five, and number six, right? So we're 26.58. Team Selena or Team Haley? What are you talking about? Taylina. It's Taylina for life, guys. old ass money uh the tiktoks man people are thirsty they're out here they're really trying okay we'll do tv damage once you get your process once you get your your little your script save static crt this is what that means it means all these little things are set up this way and uh, I can find one that's different. I know for sure Vignette is different on one of them than the other. I don't know how much of the RAM I want to take up with all these little tabs. But okay, so Static CRT has a Vignette, right? Which is to say, whenever I full screen on this screen. Oh, that's not the one. When I full screen on this screen, how do I do it on this side? Split screen view. Check this out. If I make that bigger, and then we go back, and I hit play, you can see the outside edges are kind of darkened. It's kind of darkened, right? And watch, you'll see it come off when the CRT lifts. It's about to lift. It's going to lift, like, right here. Okay, here it comes. Watch. It's coming off. Whoosh! No vignette. Okay, okay. I could also do it like the Vanguard setup. See how the knobs changed? Because I saved a separate profile. This one? Oh, this one also has a vignette, but just for this example, we'll take the vignette off. Oh, you can see what happened right there. See, that's the vignette. But yeah, you could save those different profiles and get different effects. Static CRT is more wavy. Vanguard's more like jagged so it's, you got you got everybody's basically you're either prickles or you're goo this is the goo setting this is the prickle setting so I got prickles and goo we gotta put the prickles and goo on it every once in a while okay this looks like a jabate like I'm entering some dungeon and I'm be like alright guys into episode I like to laugh about those <laughs> they saw me jabate. Stop looking at me while I jabate, guys. Okay, and then we did normalize this, right? Let's double check. Right click. Normalize. Ooh, it wasn't. But the volume looks louder here. I'm gonna bring that down to about... Seven. Seven? No, no, okay, I won't bring it down. I won't bring it down. Spirit was like, don't do it. And I'm like, okay, Spirit. I live to serve Aladdin. I am here to obey. Uh, DF3. Render ass. This is uh, Aladdin DF3. And then we'll put this one on this side. 
So that first one we did is at 5%. It was a little bit longer of a video, so this makes sense. The second one we did is at 7%. And this was shorter. So you can see this was like 40 minutes. This was like 20 minutes. This was like 25. So yeah, and we got some kind of a thing going on here with our previews. So we're probably pushing it. We're probably pushing it with the 1080p render over here and the three right there. We still have a couple more videos we got to do. So let's 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 take stock and leave track. Or kind of like not miss our okay I don't this is a different one okay Gengar was here okay I got it this was the first one it has an MKV version I, I have it set up to where you get the MKV file save as well as the mp4 because the MKV allows you to separate that different lines of the audio tracks you got like multiple vocal cords or mul multiple like people speaking and you can like pick and select when you want each person that's at least what i understood about it it gives you more control over the actual file itself so i save those just as like i guess receipts i keep receipts of the transaction i guess and then the actual mp4 that i upload is this one and you have to have the mp4 format because you can only upload the specific things in specific formats so that was the first one this is the second one this is the third one so that's that one the next one we would do is this one and then these two other ones one two so we still got three left we're doing three and we got three left all right that's that's cool you know how we keep track of this why go like this Control x right click we can go new folder and watch archive i like to leave archives archive mm. ill on them mm. and then you go in here and control v because that's paste right and now all those those extra videos we're getting confused about are a non-issue they're a non-issue now now we just have to worry about the ones remaining and these two, I know, are trash because that video broke. We can get rid of that. Um, that's fine. Skip that. I was trying to delete a file that was being created. So next is this one. Then this one. Then that one. And those will be the next three episodes of the Loot Stalwart Plays World of Warcraft again. And, and yeah, so till next time, guys. Peace. 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 See y'all later.